Next, let's look at the social media advertising. HUD has just settled a large case. You might have seen it in the news with, guess whom? Facebook for their advertising. If you have not read it, Google it and read how Facebook was accused of discriminating against certain protected classes. We next have our regular media, the newspaper, the magazines. Make sure that you don't say things like adults only or young at heart or only for women or no males allowed. Be careful how you do your advertising when you're advertising your units. Next, we'll look at testers. Testers are covered under the fair housing umbrella. It has been said that it's not fair that they send testers out, but it is fair because that's the only way they can test to see if you're discriminating or if you are allowing dis disabled people not to enjoy the same function of your unit or your property as anyone else. So testers are covered and be careful of them because they're kind of sneaky. The next one we'll cover will be parking and parking restrictions. I've talked to two people at two HUD fair housing offices and they tell me that disability is one of the largest complaints that they get at the HUD office and especially assistance animals and parking. Be careful when you receive a request from a resident for parking that you look into the request. Uh, you can't just say, well, we don't have a sign parking here and that's that. There are several lawsuits that are out there on parking also. There was one lady that died because she was not able to walk a certain distance and management refused to give her a reasonable accommodation of a parking space and her family sued the management company and guess what? The family won. So parking is covered up under the fair housing umbrella. Next we have retaliation. We get a lot of calls and we get a lot of resident calls. Some of them are, would rather remain anonymous because they say, well, if you tell them I call, management will retaliate against me. So be careful not to retaliate against your residents because they call HUD or because they call their contract administrator or because they call the local news. Work with them to resolve the issues instead of working against them because they have issues. The next thing we'll cover will be affirmatively furthering fair housing. That's more or less for metropolitan areas, but HUD does cover that under the fair housing umbrella. So be aware of that. Last but not least will be reasonable accommodations and reasonable modifications. And next week we'll talk about modifications and accommodations. But just so you'll know what's under the umbrella, under accommodations, you have things like of course, assistance animals. You have things like living aids. You have things like just being able to read the information in Braille if you're blind, or the doorbells for people who have hearing impairments. For modifications, which means a structural change, you have things like your grab bars in the bathroom, or the grab bars around or over the commode. You have things like the ramps that lead up to the units. So just know that all 14 of these issues are covered under the fair housing umbrella. Well, I want to thank you for tuning in today. Ask you to tune in next week. Ask you to send those questions that you have for the April 30th session and ask you to be careful and know their house. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.